Hello friend, in this short video you will learn everything about the smartphone Nokia G21 in a couple of minutes. Let's go. The size of the device is quite large, but not overly heavy, the body thickness is within the normal range. The front glass is flat and has no curved edges, which means it won't glare or cause accidental touches. The Nokia G21 is equipped with a 6.5-inch IPS display with a resolution of 720x1600. The screen supports a refresh rate of 60Hz or up to 90Hz in auto-selection mode. The screen has a sufficiently high maximum brightness, 450 candelas per square meter, and has excellent anti-glare properties, so the device can be used outdoors even on a sunny summer day. In complete darkness, the brightness can be reduced to a comfortable level, up to 2 candelas per square meter. The advantages of the screen include the presence of an oleophobic coating, the absence of an air gap in the layers of the screen and visible flicker, high contrast 1400, one color gamut close to sRGB and good color balance after correction. The disadvantages are the low stability of black to the deviation of the gaze from the perpendicular to the plane of the screen. Given the importance of the characteristics for this particular class of devices, the screen quality can be considered acceptable. Nokia G21 received a simple set of cameras. The shooting function falls only on one of them 50 megapixel, and the other two are auxiliary 2 megapixel modules. There is no long focus lens, not even a wide-angle one. The video camera cannot shoot either in 4K or at 60fps. The maximum option is 1080p at 30fps without stabilization. Nokia G21 was equipped with an 8-core Unisoc T606 processor, 4GB of RAM and Mali G57 MP1 graphics. In benchmarks, such a bunch scores comparable to the result of the Snapdragon 636 platform. In general, the performance of the chipset is enough to run most games at minimum and medium graphics settings. Supports 18W fast charging, 10W adapter only included. With it, the novelty replenishes energy from 0 to 50% in 1 hour 15 minutes, and a full recharge takes 3 hours. Nokia G21 is suitable for those who need a simple device for every day. The disadvantages include a slow, although quite energy efficient, processor and a mediocre camera. At the same time, the smartphone boasts impressive autonomy, a practical body, a high quality screen with 90 Hz support and a fast fingerprint scanner. There is an NFC module for contactless payment. The storage capacity is easy to expand, the SIM tray is triple and supports the installation of micro SD. Also on sale is a version of the Nokia G21 with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of internal memory. This concludes the review. Bye bye.